Hi, this is Julie Jara from New Frequency Healing. I would like to introduce a healer I have known for many years, Sally Freeston. She has lived in a few places around Australia, Sydney, yeah. Queensland, yeah, currently in Tasmania, and used to work in the corporate world, never intended to be a healer like a lot of us. And when she discovered reconnective healing in 2005 she found her whole world change and everything she's doing um yeah. like like so many healers we have all around the world she has a lot of really amazing stories so hi sally hey julie lovely to see you <laughs> you too so you've got a story we'd love to hear a healing story you said something about a dog <laughs> yeah have you heard my dog story i don't know oh, what I, you have. i don't think so i'd love to hear it Mm, a couple of years ago, I was asked by a gentleman to come and see his wife because she'd just come out of hospital having had a breakdown and he said, oh, she needs, she needs some healing. Can you come and visit us? And because, you know, she, she doesn't really want to leave the house at the moment. I said, sure. So I headed off to visit them this particular afternoon. And when I got there, I discovered they had two Great Dane Mastiffs. Now they're big dogs. <laughs> yeah. And these puppies were only two years old and they were still really big dogs. And when we were talking, she said, oh, I'm so embarrassed. They don't normally behave like this because they were barking their little socks off that day. She said, they don't normally behave like this. I said, well, maybe they know something's going to happen that we don't. Anyway, I went about doing a session for her and quite often during the session, I'd look around and see one of the dogs was sitting at the window watching what I was doing. And I thought, oh, that's really, isn't that sweet? He's there to check up on his mum. That's really nice. You know, he's keeping an eye on her. Oh, no, 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 no. This dog had an ulterior motive. Because when we got talking later on, she was telling me about how the dogs were only two and one of them had been diagnosed by the vet with double dysplasia of his hip. Now, I'm not a vet and I never profess to be. I did want to be one once when I was about seven or eight, but didn't go down that track. And so it wasn't until I went home and went, what is double dysplasia? Um, and kind of found out what a, what a dreadful thing it is for these beautiful dogs. Well, having had the dog watch me through the window, I said, well, I do healing with animals as well. So lo and behold, she said, well, the vet's, has quoted us basically he's quoted us anything up to a hundred thousand dollars in surgery <clears throat> potentially five surgeries no guarantees and I said well I don't give guarantees either because I don't know what's going to happen but what I do know is every time I work with the frequency something does happen so one of the things of that particular day that I didn't get until years later was the way the dog just sat down for me outside the window he sat literally it was a new estate so they didn't have grass out they got let me put it this way they had grass they didn't have a lawn outside if you know what I mean um, and it just had the pavers with the you know table and chairs outside for the barbecue kind of thing mm -hmm. And so he sat down on these papers outside the sliding windows. I sat down on the floor inside and I worked with him for about 20 minutes, at which stage he got up and walked away. And I went, oh, well, our session today is finished. But even during that session, at one point in time, um, his back leg came up, scratched the ear, you know, how dogs do. And I'm like, dogs do that. She, I looked over at her and she's like beside herself. I'm like, what's going on? What's, what's up? And she said, I've never seen him do that before. He's never been able to. I was like, okay, something really magical is happening here today. Okay, fair enough. Well, anyway, we finished the session. Off he went, off I went, had a chat to her and, and off I went. And a number of days later, one of my friends rang me who actually introduced me to the husband of this couple and said, have you spoken to them? I said, no, why? What's happened? And, you know, of course, the brain's going, oh, my God, I wonder what's happened, you know. And um, she said, we were out there and the kids are going, mummy, look at him. Whereas before there were all these tears sitting here, he's smiling. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And she said, and you could see it started to fill out. You know how like, just like with kids, when when some an animal or a child is not well, they kind of get that gaunt look. And so do adults for that matter. Well, he'd started to fill out. And I'm thinking, oh no, they're going to be going, oh, there goes our food bill again. Why did we get that girl in? <laughs> Anyhow, but she said, they're going to ring you. They want you to come back. About a week later, a couple, of, a couple of weeks later, I was going back to see someone in that area and I rang them and said, hey, just checking in to see how you're doing. And they said, can you come again? And I said, 
want to see your wife, her, me, the dog, and the next door neighbor, because the next door neighbors notice the difference in the dog crying all the time. And it was one of the things the vet had said to them. It's a wonder your neighbors aren't all complaining about the noise from the dog, was he be complaining all the time and crying. So sure enough, she wanted to come for a session as well. And after our second session with, with all of them, I said to them, could I please give the dog a pat? Because again, he'd sat down outside and I'd sat inside. And I said, can I please give him a pat? Because I feel like I'm really bonded with this beautiful dog. And yet I haven't physically touched him. Because that's one of the things I love with the frequencies. You're working without having to physically touch, which means, of course, we can do distances along, along with in person. And anyway, they let him in to, so I could give him a pat. He's gone straight past her, straight past me, and straight up to his, his human dad, who happens to be six foot five. Well, his paws went straight up on Paul's shoulders. And the two of them just went to tears. And they said, we've always teased him about being uncoordinated. It's not that he was uncoordinated. He didn't have strength in his hips. And so in those two sessions, that dog went from not being able to walk around the block doing 5K runs with the family. And that was one of those moments for me that was like, you ever question this work, you think to today, and you know things always happen when you're working with the reconnected frequencies. So and as that family, I did the three sessions with her, she went from being in a situation where she'd actually, um, leading up to the sessions she with her breakdown, she'd actually been wishing her family dead. And she said to me after her third session, she sat up on the massage table at the end of it, she's just this big grin on her face. And she said, oh, my God, I feel like the angels just slapped me around the face and said, do you not get it? You've been sending love to your family this week. And um, her husband actually contacted me afterwards and said, does this affect your work? And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, my business has gone through the roof since our session. So to me, it was this whole bundle together that the universe had shown me of how, how great this work is and how strong and, and powerful it is when you choose to embrace it. Wow. That was my dog story, which was like the, the whole family and the things that happened for them and for their neighbours. Wow. Okay, I haven't heard that before. And I was getting chills as you were telling oh. it. And yeah. just thinking, isn't that amazing? And like, and I know because I know how much animals love this healing, but also I think that's really relevant right now because um, what I'm hearing, there's a lot of people going through depression and, yeah. and so happy with what's happening in the world. So it's really cool when you realise how much that can help people. Yeah. And the thing is, too, that for so many of us, our animals are just stepping in to be there for us at the moment, to hold space for us yeah. um, as they're seeing the stress that so many of their human family are going through. And we forget that the animals are then taking that on for us. So they need that extra love and care now, too. Yeah, because so it's, it's, yeah, it's a much bigger thing. It's not just, oh, I feel like it. it's how is that affecting that around us? Yeah. yeah, when they take it on, they need a bit of healing for that too. So yeah, we yeah. can honour that. So Sally, just... thank you so much for that wonderful story. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> it's my <laughs> pleasure. How do people get in touch with you if they want to contact you for healing or to even have a chat perhaps? I'm, I'm on Facebook as Soul Wellness Coach. So you'll find me on there. Um, when I started this work, the angels all rocked into my world too, which surprised the heck out of me. I was used to doing corporate, you know, go in and lobby multi-million dollar accounts and here I was, <laughs> angels rocking in and wanting to do readings for me. So you'll find me on Soul Wellness Coach, which is on Facebook, or alternatively you'll find me on the Natural Therapies page and my Natural Therapy page is Sally Freeston. So that's probably the easiest way people can find me. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a phone number, of course, as well for those that want to ring, though I do ask you to check the time zone before you start ringing in the middle of the night in Australian time. Um, but I can be reached on my phone number of 0413 621 and that's in Australia. 0413 621 So I look forward to being of assistance. I love this work. I just love what I've seen happen for people, people who don't sleep, who start to sleep, um, all kinds of things yeah. that happen for people. Just I, I love healing, hearing stories like that where the animal had a healing and, you, you know, I can just, I 
could see the dog. I used to have a great Dane years ago, so I know what they're like and how that would be a huge thing if they had a hip. Wow. And as you were telling it, I could feel it. I could see it. So, you know, I know how big a healing that would be. So thank you so much. It was great talking to you today. These guys didn't have children. The dogs were their children. Uh -huh. And she said to me, if I had the money, I would just do it. Um, <laughs> yeah. And with yeah. this happening, I certainly didn't charge them $100,000. Um, <laughs> more for me, but uh, maybe. But at the same time, there were none of the risks of anaesthetic. There were none of the risks mm. of infection, mm. surgery, or of that downtime and trying to keep your dog quiet while it's recovering. And particularly because with the two dogs, they would stress when they were apart. So the, the stress that both of them would have gone through going through those surgeries would have yeah. just been amazing. So, yeah, That's really special. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Sally. My pleasure. Lovely chatting with you. Okay, bye.